Alright, welcome to Dummy Nation. Today we are playing as Romania in a gunners only challenge. So, the thing about gunners, they don't have defense, so. The main thing about gunners, they're expensive and they don't have defense. So, we have to hope that we have the right composition. <sighs> yeah, we had to hope we had the right army composition and then um, go from there. It's an only gunners run. So yeah. The only question I would have is whether I go... S because it's a gunners only run and gunners are the most expensive troop, we're going straight autocracy. And I think you have, I think it's, and I, it's basically a, you have to go autocracy. All right, let's build. Three, let's build five sets of gunners. Fortunately, when running autocracy, gunners take the, gunners, commandos take the least hit, amount of hits, well, Relatively speaking. <sighs> We're, yeah. Kind of stuck. Bring it on the gunners. Waiting for Kosovo to attack. Didn't attack or whatever. Oops. Ukraine, Ukraine went pretty quick, but we got none of it. You know what? Georgia getting attacked? Let's take it. Armenia getting attacked? If we can get it, by all means we'll go for it. I don't think we can get it. Can we get another set of gunners though? Oh, Turkey, super weak. Oh, Russia falling. Right. If I attack Turkey, who would attack me, reasonably speaking? Let's wait for my troops. Okay, click it. All right. You know what? Fuck it. We're gonna go for Turkey. And then who reasonably? Azerbaijan should be easy to peek itself. Montenegro should be an easy piece. Norway, Kyrgyzstan. Kyrgyzstan should be an easy piece. Norway, not so much. But we definitely want Turkey here. Remember, it's still an only gunner's run, so. We definitely want all of Turkey. Probably want to give away some claims if need be. Alright, let's just add another set of gunners. North Macedonia. Get out. Slovenia. Get out. Slowly working our way into Turkey. Oh, Israel. They got a chunk of Israel. Well, it's my chunk of Israel now. United States of America. Oh, boy. That's going to be a hard alliance to get back. You know? But there's our next set of gunners. And we'll add another set.
Now, the thing about gunners, they're cheap. Amazingly cheap. Ooh, Spain fell and I didn't notice. Libya, Algeria. I focused Turkey and I didn't notice Spain fell. Greece? No, get out. But can I liberate any of it? No. Okay, more gunners. It's an only gunners run. Serbia? Is Serbia most a tank? No. Well, I could honestly take Palestine here, even though the defenses aren't high. Lebanon. Let's do more gunners. Why not? As we still wait on, like, um... Alright, Russia's quickly losing all its troops. I think we just go for it now. And then we get North Korea out of here. Yeah, it's gonna cost us a lot, but we should be able to out-recruit, so. Get our stat. God, we're eating so many troops and... So, with a gunner's only run, there's no reason to run anything but... There's no reason to run this. Like, crazy. It would be batshit crazy if you run anything other than... If you run fascism, because it's... Oh, let's be honest. Your... We, your... Cap will not be money. Your cap will be time. Especially once you get large enough that you have enough uh, liquidity coming in. So my cap will not be money, my cap will be time. So yeah, there's that much. Gunners are amazing, because the only real counter to gunners is commandos. And sure you can recruit about six commandos for every five gunners, but in order to do a pure counter against gunners, you have to, like, um... What do you call it? Everyone go home. Keep making gunners. Everyone at home, we're continuing to max out the gunners. I think this army can counter that. This only Gunner's army can counter China here. I'm just not in the mood. You know? But this only Gunner... These only Gunner comps can especially counter that. Hmm. We have a pr we have what's going to end up being a weak Saudi here. I think we just go for it. USA's at war. Egypt's gonna end up peace out here. Oman, Somalia. Barak, Kuwait, Mauritania. People's Republic of China, South Korea, Morocco, UAE, Morocco. Uh, we can't peace out with South Korea with the money we got, so. Oh, we just don't have liquidity to deal with that. Fuck. It may be better to deal with the rest of them then. Uh, People's Republic of China, do you want to peace out? Sure. Well, that makes South Korea. That makes South Korea. 
if we peace out with you, yeah, that fixes everything. And this only gunner's run is doing pretty well. Let's finish off Saudi Arabia. We'll eventually want to attack China. I can't. I may have to consider communism here because obviously infantry is going to be the main main roadblock. And if infantry is the main roadblock, then yeah, there's no real reason to run anything but communism. Yeah, my military size, I actually have the largest military just solely off of gunners. And this is an only gunner run. So eventually we'll be enjoying the speed of gunners here. All right, let's go for Iran. All right, here we go. We are at war with Jordan, which we can peace out with, probably. Yeah. And we are still going with the only gunner run. See, I had just played a multiplayer um, domination as Sweden, and we had a USA that was only building tanks. Like, all they built was tanks. And it was so easy to counter. Which is why only, which is why only gunner runs like this is just like what the heck, man, you know? It's just something I don't recommend doing, you know? We got a nice Roman Empire-looking thing going at least. So the thing is, yeah, you can see right here, the um, gunners are just so expensive in terms of maintenance. Gunners are amazing, they're just expensive. And they get clobbered by like, um, commandos. But they are an amazing unit, you know? We're getting to the point where I mean, I need to be worth doing anything, but it may be worth switching to communism, because all we are allowed to do is attack and get infantry. And we're starting to hit a road block with, um, you guessed it, communism. So yeah, we're having a great game right now. In fact, we're probably going to attack India next, despite them being democratic, because we we have to, we have a pretty strong counter to them. We can counter the Indian defense, so all our attack goes into that. Serbia. So yeah, we will go for India here. Off. All right, we have enough where it's time to seriously contemplate um, communism. Because 
even even though autocracy is great, and autocracy is great in many ways, we're gonna have to continue to fight. Sucks. Well, let's begin self sufficient. You know what's weak right now? United States of America. Honestly, you know what I'm thinking? We're just gonna go communist now. The reason being is, um, we have to build gunners, and it's an only gunner run. So, why are we doing anything but communism, you know? We need to start speeding these uh, gunners out. So, at this point, yeah, I think communism's the only play. And then while it is amazing, Communism is amazing in its own way. I feel like in order to produce the, the troops we need, we definitely want to go communism, communist. We're still waiting for the next level of self-sufficient here. And yeah, the whole thing is only gunner. That's the whole point of this challenge run. So yeah, we've hit 58.3, so we're now we're gonna do like 400,000 gunners per. And we've transitioned to that at this point, so let's finish off self-sufficient. And also let's bring it out to 33. Because we still have to grow our economy. The remains of India. There we go. Right, now everyone can go home. Um, uh, looking for the next opportunity. It's probably going to be Colombia. Actually, Iraq. Iraq makes sense. Then after, then after that, um, it's either Colombia, Mexico. You know what? Start start with Honduras. And then let's begin going down smart tech or digital economy. I think Colombia's fair. Yeah, I do think Colombia's fair here. So luckily, with an only gunners run, everyone's gonna move fast. But my God, this is gonna this is gonna be terrible. We're just gonna take so many hits. Like. It may be worth doing even more economic growth just to recruit more. Or we don't worry about it, we just go for Japan. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna vote that we don't worry about it, we just go for Japan. Peace out with what we can here. Nigeria, Serbia. Paraguay, Mongolia, Oman. Paraguay, Mongolia, Oman. El Salvador, Brazil, Philippines, People's Republic of China. And then um, Brazil, Kazakhstan. Yeah. 
So at this rate, I don't even think there's a reason to push liquidity too high. If you're doing an only gunner run, we're at a point where our liquidity is too high for just an only gunner setup. We're gonna bring our liquidity down to actually 14. And we're gonna keep this going as long as possible. So at this point, we had to run a setup designed to like grow. Yeah. So like we can keep we can keep pushing our economic growth, which is great. However, yeah, we definitely need to reduce uh, our girlfriend it might be worth allying with the Chinese here just so that we can get through this just a bit faster you know the United States of America has declared war on me um peace out Japan has been defeated. That's great. We can keep the only gunners thing going. All right, looking around. Um, UK too much. Stuff. Next one should probably be Brazil. Although Moldova is weak enough that we should probably just just clear it out. All right, now Brazil. Serbia, peace out. Mexico, Moldova, Philippines. Peace out. Philippines, peace out. All right, let's see. It's gonna be Mexico, France, Germany, Slovakia. Mexico, France, Germany. That should be enough. Nigeria. This is an only gunner run, which is why we're going only gunner, only communist. Just keep going. Just keep recruiting. Um, uh, let's do 6k into remittance here. We may end up having to lower this to 8. We're stuck on the waiting game. You know what? We are going to lower this to 8. Actually, no. We're going to keep it at 14 for now. We're not large enough to lower it to 8. Okay, we may just want to lower to 8 now. We are going to lower to 8. As we continue our only gunner run. Alright, everyone goes home. Yeah, France is looking super weak. Australia is looking super weak though too. French. Um, can we? Yeah, we might just want to do that. Just so that we're not bothering them. Alright, everyone to France. Where gunners can make them. Actually. Let's attack near the Alps. That should be where, where we get the biggest benefit. Alright, all France is gone. Everything's racing. Yep, here we go. Just finish off France. 
Oh my god, you're okay. Oh god, that's a disaster. It is a disaster now. Actually, no. No, it's not. We just can't, like, be aggressive right now. We can definitely finish off French Guyana. But it's gonna take a significant amount of time now. A significant more time than I would like. Alright, 8%. Are we growing? I don't think we are. Yeah, they're about to finish off France. Still need to do the only gunner thing. We're at a point where we're able to cons... Yeah, eight's too low. I think we need to go to 11. USA is getting weak. Yeah, let's just go to, let's just go, to, let's go to 12. Okay, USA has been significantly weakened. Maybe it is time to attack, I don't know. Let's attack them on cap. If we were running fascism, we could just lower GDP per capita, but at this point, there's nothing we can do except push more and more and more gunners. Gunners are amazing. I will say that much. Gunners are amazing. At this point, we should probably spread them a little bit. Gift the gunner. We definitely don't want to. Oh, brother. We're having trouble. So many militias. I'll just move them. UK is going to be in a good spot now. Alright. Keep keep moving your gunners. Oh, let's just increase you to 16 just so that we're just... No. 12 is fine. One stack. Don't do too many stacks right now because it, it is still only gunners. It does suck. I'm probably just gonna leave half here, just so that we can keep growing. Still going, very slowly. Okay, everything there is done. You know what? Just, just start on making a backlog. Ok, 
comes to People's Republic of China. Alright, we're gonna send this stack mail again. Alright, here we go again. Keep these only gunners going. Keep on recruiting, keep them going. I will say having to go communism kinda sucks here. But it's the only play we got. For only gonna run you if you don't go communist, you're kinda stuck. Alright, just split you. US Romania is fine now, so. We can afford to split and go. Yeah. Let's develop that up. Let's keep this going. Keep the gunners going. Keep them up. Okay, where's the USA? Get to the rest of the USA. attack UK. Just because we can drain basically most of UK out here. Australia with 30 million. Continue to drain the UK. I guess only gunners is fine, but it's like, oh my god. Yeah, here comes China now. China on, uh, China with their goal to be like, no more, no more only gunners threat. Um, yeah, that, that doesn't help. That was stupid of me. That was a waste of, that was a waste. I'll just say that right now, that was a waste of research. So China is next. And that was a waste of research. That doesn't help an only gunner run. What am I thinking? What helps is having a more powerful infantry attack. Still pushing for UK here. We'll also want to push for Indonesia. We're pushing. Okay. At this point, don't need to worry about it. Let's just go for you. Alright, that's good enough. going for a nice only gunner run. Trying to finish it off. Try and finish this off. Got a nice little backlog developing. Um, I think we want to go for cheaper infantry here. We've got a bit of backlog. We can now afford to go down to 8. We've still got a lot of a backlog here. Let's do more National Guard. Go 
continue to push the only gunners. Yep, we're getting rampaged now. Now we should be able to survive on the basis of um, keeping our queue full, however, can we get to 90%? Can we get to max of only gunners? Because we know Italy's going to come in at some point too. I think we sh I think what I gotta do is put one stack in. Just one stack it. Okay, we can afford to split this now. Next thing is going to be Indonesia, clearly. Let's, let's enhance the offensive capability of militia here. Yep, Italy went to try and stop us from winning the game, which makes total sense. Alright, there we go. Only gunners. Alright, so... Still going. Yeah, so we're recruiting 29,000 at a time, basically. Yeah, we've got a lot of troops in the backlog, so I can see why this would be tor not fun. I can totally see why this wouldn't be fun. Alright, Germany. We're going to deal with the Europeans first. That, they should be way easier to deal with than whatever, than the Chinese and the Indians. huge. That would basically force everyone to burn all their troops here, like here comes Indonesia. There we go. So Romania, only gunners. Had to go communist. You get locked into um, infantry only, which means you can run low liquidity. But my god, they get killed at like that. So it's like it's a tough bell. Alright. So like, share, subscribe if you like the content. Um, join my Discord server if you want notifications, including Twitch streams. Uh, leave a comment down below if you have any suggestions and I will see you in the next one.